Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again. As always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Today was snap on Thursday and I didn't walk away empty handed. I did pick up the new style of digital torque wrench in 3 8 drive. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this thing. All right, so how's it going everyone? Uh, I've ended up picking this up from Snap-on today. I picked it up because I had an issue, which we'll talk about here a little bit later on, but let's open it up and take a look at this. Comes in this nice rugged case. Everyone knows and appreciates the cases that Snap-on make. They're really nice, they're heavy duty. They keep the part number on the end there in case you guys were wondering what the part number was when it was last calibrated. Uh, on the inside, of course, they give you an instruction manual on how to use a tech angle torque wrench plus a warranty receipt as well. Um, just a lot of good features here. But let's just go ahead and turn on the tool and check this thing out. So a couple things that I noticed off the bat, uh, different than the one that I had from a long time ago, was it's not. it doesn't come in its typical red and black and, and gray on black uh, color scheme. They now offer a bright green such as the one that I picked up as well as an orange. So if you guys are looking to get these Torque wrenches, I believe they do do the 3 8 and half inch the same exact way. Now, I did not want the half inch. I really wanted the 3 8 I do more torquing with 3 8 than I do half inch. The beauty behind this is that it's actually like, it's a multi-tool torque wrench. So, I don't have to carry as many torque wrenches in my toolbox to perform the same exact function that I want out of a torque wrench. Those of you that know, uh, if you've watched my torque video, if you haven't watched the torque wrench video, I'll try to put a card up here or here. Uh, know some of my likes and dislikes. One of my dislikes was I didn't really care for the buzzing and how it like sometimes it would be a little bit under or a little bit over uh, what the actual torque setting was that I had on it. But there are other features in this tool that I think are widely beneficial and there's many reasons why I wanted to get it today. One of those reasons was, and I told you I'd share it with you, I ended up, uh, I had this this uh, engine mount bolt. It was just for a motor mount bolt. And I thought, hey, you know, I had to use a half inch gun to zap this thing off. I might need to snug it up with the half inch gun. And a couple lugga luggas later, it's sheared in half. Next thing you know, we're using a left handed drill bit kit to uh, drill a hole and then use the extractor. And when we got it up a certain way, the extractor gave out, so then we had to use the Matco extractor set to extract it the rest of the way. We finally got it out and was able to get another replacement bolt to put back in its spot. It was from there that I decided if I'm gonna be doing a lot of engine work, a lot of uh, you know engine replacements or cylinder heads and things like that, I needed to step up my game a little bit in the torque realm uh, because my my owner, my shop owner, and uh, you know the shop owner kind of demanded that he really wants things torqued down. Uh, not saying that he's a torque Nazi. There's a lot of people out there that can clearly go by feel, but there are some things that you just want to make sure that are absolutely right and that you get it right. And if you torque everything down to spec, you're not going to go wrong. So torque is very important. It's it's, I've, I've definitely learned you know, my lessons as far as torque. I've usually gone by feel uh, for a lot of things, even upper intakes and things like that. Uh, nowadays, I can't afford to mess around. Uh, you know, To make sure that I keep this job uh, for a very long time, I need to uh, get with the time. So I decided to pick up this 3 8 torque wrench. Comes with three AAA batteries that go on the end of the handle. Uh, the end of the handle is actually pretty sweet. It's got a nice little grip on it. It's got two flats so you can actually unscrew it, put the batteries in, screw it back on, and you're good to go. It also has a nice little stopping portion here at the end so when you have your hand on it, you don't have to worry about covering up the cap or anything like that. So it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, it does cover foot pounds, which we have right now on a unit of measure, as well as inch pounds, as well as Newton meters, as well as uh, kilograms if you, if you measure with that. I don't, I don't even know what DNM is, I'm sure somebody else does. And then we go back to foot pounds. Going into foot pounds, this thing will go down to five foot pounds and up to 100 foot pounds. You can switch it to degree of angle, but you can see it needs to zero eyes first. So we need to put that on a, a level surface. You can just set it down 
and it sets it. So now we're at about 180 degrees is where it's set. You can change, you can up that a little bit. Let's see how high it will go. Let's see if it'll do a full 360. I don't know, I just bought this today, so I'm just checking it out like you guys are. So it will go to 360 degrees and zero. We'll just set it for, I don't know, let's just go to 40 degrees, I guess. All right, 40 degrees. So if you're rotating, and I'm gonna hold on to the end here where the 3 8 drive portion is, but if you're rotating, it's, oh, let me see here. Maybe I gotta get a socket for this. Let me get a socket real quick. All right, I got a socket. My snap-on rep did something pretty cool, and I want to see if I can replicate that. But uh, if you were torquing something down, is it going to let me do it? I don't know if it will. There is a degree setting. That if you rotate it, huh, I guess it won't. I need, to, I need to hook this up to something, don't I? Let's do that. All right, so I'm at the bench press now. I got the degree setting, I kind of moved it a little bit, but it's all good. Uh, if I, I have it set for 40 degrees, if I'm trying to tighten something up, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Oh, let me see here, I wanna make sure it's in the camera so you guys can see it. Let me widen it out a little bit. All right, so when, if I wanna go to a specific degree, and I'm pushing on this, not only will it tell you the degrees, but as you're rotating it, trying to get 40 degrees out of it, it'll go amber, amber, and then once you get to 40 degrees, it'll actually stop. Now, inadvertently, we'll go ahead and we'll loosen it back up real quick. Let's say that you missed your spot and you can only go so far. So we'll go a little bit, little bit, little bit, ratchet back, now we're getting somewhere. As you're going, say you can only go so much, now you gotta come back. It'll save that where that 15 degrees was that we were at, and it'll start over. Now I can only go this much. So now I'll come back again, it'll save it again. Now we're at 20 degrees, and I can only get to 30 in this specific area so I'll come back again a couple of teeth I'll go again and now we're at 40 degrees so that's pretty cool all right so now that you guys got a chance to see how the degrees works the torque setting as far as torquing something down foot pounds inch pounds works the exact same way it will save the amount that you've already torqued it, even if you can only move it one tooth or two teeth at a time before you can torque again. And the lights will continue to light up until you've actually reached that inch pound, newton meter, foot pound, or degree angle torque. Now if you want to go back, we'll set this down on a level surface. We'll press the uh, units of measure again. Let's see. Oh, nope, sorry. You press the little enter looking button again and that'll take you back to foot pounds then from there you can adjust your units of measure to inch pounds newton meters kilograms etc pretty freaking cool all right you guys get the idea so now we'll be uh turning off the tool zeroizing foot pounds press and hold Tool turns off. Oh, let's put the instruction booklet back in there just because. All right, so that's pretty much my hot tool buy for today. Got it on a pretty slick deal uh, off the top of my head. I think it was a little over 400 bucks. These things go for right around 600 bucks depending on uh, if they're having a promo on them or not. I just so happened to catch that window when they were having a promo and he ended up giving me a little Christmas uh, discount there as well uh, since I didn't buy anything during the Christmas time frame. So 
that was pretty cool. So it kind of gave me that friendly courtesy. Love the snap-on rep. I love all my tool reps. They're all cool to me. Uh, so I was able to pick that up for a little over 400 bucks. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm doing more uh, engine swaps and cylinder heads now that I'm back at the independent shop. That degree angle torque thing is going to work out really good for me, especially in tight areas. So I think this tool is going to hold up really well. I think it's going to work out great for me. Uh, why didn't I get the half inch? Uh, you know, there's a lot of different scenarios and things that I've been torquing down uh, over the last month of being at the independent shop. And I have not really utilized the half inch as much as I, you would think I, I need to. Uh, Shane actually has a digital torque wrench from Cornwell that's a half inch that we use for specific items when we actually need it. Um, such as like we had to torque down the uh, crankshaft harmonic balance bolt on this Chevy 6 liter that we just got done completing. And it was 240 foot pounds. So we ended up using his digital wrench for that. Everything else that I used to torque down today uh, between the engine mounts, between the torque converter bolts, the flex plate bolts, the intake manifold, the exhaust manifold, even the oil pan, everything else, everything else was 3 8 and I was going in and out of my uh, boss slash shop owner's toolbox like every couple of minutes to borrow his torque wrench to torque something else down. So for me, uh, it was more beneficial for me to buy the 3 8 uh, again, I really like the click style type that I have, but we're looking for accuracy and sometimes you need that degree angle torque. And you know what's also uh, beneficial about having something like this is the fact that I no longer have to have my inch pound torque wrench, my foot pound torque wrench, and from quarter inch to three eighths to half inch all in one toolbox. This thing will pretty much take care of the inch pounds, the newton meters, foot, uh, foot pounds, it'll take care of uh, degree torque, all the way up to 100 foot pounds. You guys saw it, so that's pretty awesome. So that's why I'm excited about this tool. Um, again, like I said, I owned one a long, long time ago, and I got rid of it for stupid cheap, and I wish I wouldn't have, and I'd be using that the heck out of that torque wrench today. And uh, you know what, today I gave myself this little, this little treat, if you will. Uh, I decided that uh, after completing this engine job, pretty much doing the whole entire thing by myself uh, with very little help, and the help that I did get was very much appreciated, but a lot of the work I did all on my own, and uh, I used the heck out of my boss's uh, digital torque wrench, so I decided to treat myself to one. So I, I foresee good things coming from this. I love this tool. Normally I would try to do a review uh, nowadays on a tool that I've used for a long period of time. But since I've been using this style of torque wrench for a little while, uh, between the independent shop and from my past history, I could tell you the ins and outs that there are some huge benefits to having something like this. Thanks as always for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. If you would like to see uh, other videos like this, make sure to leave it in the comment vlog. Thanks as always for watching. We'll see you guys later.